Hello, hello. Okay. Getting everything set up here so I can see you all as you pop on. There we go. <clears throat> all these extra pop ups come up, and you gotta love technology, right? Okay, I'm gonna adjust the size of these, and I hope that I don't accidentally close you out. How is everybody doing tonight? Happy Monday. I see a couple of you popping on already. Welcome. It's time for another Make It Monday. I've got some adorable cards for you tonight. I'm really, really excited for you to see what I have in store. Hi, Kay. Welcome. I uh, spent the weekend. Hi, Jody. Welcome. <clears throat> I spent the weekend at a creative escape with some fellow demonstrator friends of mine, and I was so inspired. I could not wait to get back here tonight to stamp with you guys. I learned so much and got a lot of great ideas, so I'm super excited. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Robin. Hi, Marsha. Hi, Carol. Welcome. Thanks for joining me tonight. So um, I see a lot of people saying hello as you pop on. Make sure that you say hi and tell me where you're from. I love to hear where everyone is watching from. Um, actually, that's one of my favorite things to do is go through my comments and see where everyone is watching from when I am done. So, <clears throat> okay. For those of you who don't know me, who might be watching me for the first time, Welcome. This is my Make It Monday Facebook Live stamping event or stamping class. I go live every Monday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And tonight I'm stamping with you live here in my studio in New Holstein, Wisconsin. My name is Rose Grunewald and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! If you are not catching me live and you're catching the replay, I would really appreciate it if you just tell me you're watching the replay and still tell me where you're from because I think it's so fun to see where everyone's watching from. Hi, Bonnie and Marsha and Sharon both shared. I see some other people commented shared. Thank you so much for sharing this video. Please take a minute, guys, and just hit that share button down there. Um, when you do that, you really help to support my small business, and I so appreciate that. I love to help coach people's creativity. When you share my page, my post, it ends up on your page and your friends get to see, and everyone gets to learn about stamping, which is super fun. So um, we don't want to keep our favorite hobby from our friends, right? <clears throat> Oh, Bonnie, you're from Michigan. Small world. Oh, my gosh. So cool. Um, my husband works in Manitowoc, so that's kind of up over in that area, too. All right. Tonight, I am playing around with this adorable darling donkey stamp set. Oh, my gosh. I can never understand what way I'm supposed to turn things so that you can see them on the camera. That's in celebration. You're gonna love what I have put together. And I also have prizes. So I'm gonna flip the camera here and get my notes out of the way because I don't want you to have to look at that. Oh, Marsha's from Manitowoc. Oh my goodness. Small world, you guys. All right, so you remember last week I had my catalog kickoff event and we made this, I'm giving away three prizes tonight, you guys, by the way. We made this beautiful trifold card. The one I made didn't have any stamping here, but I'm giving away the fabulous one with stamping. And then the inside is blank. Um, because you're going to want to write in it. And this used the free paper bloom stamp set. On Friday, actually, I went live impromptu and showed you some wonderful things you could do with the paper bloom stamp set too, using the dragonfly garden stamp set with the paper blooms paper. Aren't those beautiful? So 
lots of stuff you can do with this beautiful paper. And this one is um, a fun fold. So I'm giving this prize away for liking my video. And the winner is Missy Sosa. Congratulations, Missy. Thank you so much for sharing the love on my page. I'm going to work on getting these prizes out this week, by the way. Okay, our next prize um, for comments. Okay, you might remember that I made, let me see if I can find it here. Also in my live, I made this beautiful set of cards using a new embossing folder, painted texture, and that paper blooms paper again. These are super simple cards and I've got a card kit here, all cut and prepared and ready to go um, to make everything you need to make all four of those cards. The braided linen trim is in there too. And I'm giving this away for comments. I cut some extras from my promo that I had going on last week. And the winner of this is Sharon Rowland. I saw Sharon watching tonight. So um, congratulations, Sharon. I don't have your address. So if you could send me um, a private message or you could pop me an email at countrycardsbyrose at gmail.com. I'll get that out to you. And our last one, I still have some of these kits left using our Oso oh Ombre paper. And we're gonna play with that a little bit more tonight. And that touch of ink stamp set, that stamp set is my favorite celebration stamp set ever. That's free with a hundred dollar purchase during celebration. And you get everything you need to make, I think four cards here as well. Now I've left this card um, kit simple, but you are welcome to bling it up and do whatever you would like with it. My friend Sue, she watches and she won one of these card kits. She blinged it up this weekend and sent me a picture. It was amazing. So the winner of this is for sharing my video. So just a reminder, if you haven't shared it, hit that share right now. And that goes to Kim Crane. And Kim, I need your address as well. Congratulations. So if you wouldn't mind popping me um, a private message or an email, that would be great. Hi, Vicki, welcome. I'm seeing a lot of new names here. That's amazing. I'm so excited to be stamping with you guys tonight. I'm gonna move my tea out of the way so I don't spill it all over because I have butterfingers sometimes. <laughs> okay, tonight's all about the darling donkeys and I got some really, really fun cards here for you. Now, this is free. Here's our celebration flyer. Look at all this stuff you get for free. It's one of the level one free items. So you get it free if you want it, if this is the one you choose with a $50 purchase. And what's really cool is right now, remember, <clears throat> I have my Dragonfly Garden uh, class going on. And when you purchase option one from me, which includes a half a pack of the Dandy Garden Designer Series paper. Here, let me show you what else you get with it. You also get these metallic pearls, gold and silver, a full package of those. I promise you, you get more ribbon than this. This ribbon has been seeing a lot of love from me. You get a full roll of the Mossy Meadow braided linen trim in there. And if you pick the first option, you also get, let me find it here, the Dragonfly Garden Bundle. When you buy that kit, I will mail you everything you need to make 12 cards. You'll make two of each, six designs, and you'll get to pick a free celebration item. And so that free item might be Darling Donkeys. I wanted to just show you for a minute this pretty paper because when you buy that kit from me, you're going to get 24 sheets of this stuff. Look at how much is in there. And it coordinates with um, like six different colors. So there's a ton of patterns. So, so useful. Um, and that you can still pre-order through the 12th. 
Okay, but now if Darling Donkeys is the set that you choose, you could make these cards that I'm going to show you tonight. So let's get to stamping, huh? What do you say? Um, I think we should start off, let's do a little warm up with some simple, stunning stamp stamping. Try to say that three times fast. All right. I'm actually gonna open these up because then you don't have to keep listening to this clicking. I have these really cool boxes that I store everything in and they click, but it's probably really loud on your end. So sorry about that. All right. So for our card tonight, we're using some of this pretty organdy ribbon. I actually haven't made this card. This is just an idea in my head. So I'm doing a little stamping on the fly. <clears throat> okay, we have got a piece of flirty flamingo. I'm gonna use this as our card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half. I've got a scrap of whisper white. We'll just set that aside. And then I've got a piece of basic black here. This is um, five inches by three and three quarters. And then this uh, piece of designer series paper comes from the beautiful, what's it called? Flower and Field designer series paper. I have been, this one's been getting a lot of love too. You can kind of see all these pretty designs. Anyway, this is the design that we're using, the striped one. This piece here is, um, let me look at my notes, four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. So it's just one eighth of an inch smaller than our basic black piece. Okay. I gotta find my bone folder, here we go. Okay, so we are going to fold our card base and burnish that edge. Oh, Robin has those containers too. I talked my friend Jody into getting them too and we both brought them to the retreat and it was so awesome to be able to make our cards and kind of carry our little tackle box with us. Uh, Oh my gosh, Cindy is watching again from Ontario. I told you, Cindy, my husband and I would love to get to Canada. We want to do some uh, walleye fishing there. So maybe one day. Hi, Joanne. Welcome. Hi, Doris. Long time no see. It's been a while. I hope you're doing well. Okay, I am just gluing down this striped piece of the designer series paper onto my black matting here. And that just has the black kind of peeking through right behind it or peeking around right behind it. Okay, and then we're going to take our Circle punch. I'm also using a couple of circle punches here. I've got my two and a quarter and my two inch. Take a piece of basic black and cut out my bigger circle, two and a quarter. And with my two inch, I'm gonna cut a piece of this Whisper White scrap. I don't have any room on my desk for these to sit open, so I'm just going to close them right away and set them aside here. Okay, now we got to do a little stamping. So let's grab our donkeys. And I'm going to grab this guy here with the rose. So we got three cute donkeys, some fun sayings hee haw, you're the best. Hey there, friend, and it's your birthday. I'm gonna grab this guy with the rose and oh, you'll notice my stamps are not sticking to my case cover. 
a demonstrator friend this weekend told me all about how she keeps her paper on this rubber piece. So I peeled off the sticking and I stuck it on. So it's like stuck onto this rubber piece. And then when I put my stamps back down, they don't stick. Sharon loves the donkey set. Oh, you had a donkey. That's so cool. Um, we actually live in Amish country and a lot of the Amish around by us have horses and donkeys. And I think donkeys are super cute. Oh, Doris, I bet you are super, super busy. Just when one holiday ends, we add another one next, right? Okay, now on this circle, I'm just gonna punch the donkey's face. And he's got that rose between his teeth. Oops. Okay, I hope that this works. Oh, that was lucky. All right, and now I need to find my blend. I didn't get it out ahead of time. What do I got here? There we go. I'm gonna use my Flirty Flamingo blends. And I will use my Mossy Meadow blend as well. So for my Mossy Meadow, now this is, I'm only coloring the rose on this donkey. Hi, Missy, welcome. You won a prize. I'll get that in the mail to you. So I'm using my Dark Mossy Meadow and I'm using the fine tip. Let me turn on this light so you can see better. I'm using the fine tip of my blend. And I'm just gonna very carefully start coloring the stem and a little bit of the leaves. And I know that this is probably really, really particular to not just color the whole thing, but sometimes these small details make all the difference in the world. So I've colored my stem and now I've got my dark flirty flamingo I am going to come in here and just highlight or low light, whatever you want to call it, a couple of spots on the flower. And then I will color the rest in with my light flirty flamingo and I will blend it. Just like so. So all we are coloring is the rose and the stem. Okay, now I am going to, where'd my glue go? <gasps> Ooh, angels, you hear them? So smooth, I love that stuff. I hear angels singing every time I use my stamp and seal. Okay, I am gluing this down here on our black layer. I'm not worried if it's perfectly centered because this is a donkey holding a rose. That's okay, right? All right, and now I've got this piece that I um, put together. We're going to use this glittered organdy ribbon. It's sparkly and black and amazing. And I'm just going to um, wrap that around. Let's see. I think I want my donkey like here. So I'm just going to snip this off. Cut the length I need. All right, so we're going to wrap this around and secure it on the back with some tape. Like so. And, oops, oh, that's not straight. Let's try this again. Good thing this is on the back and no one will see that I messed up my tape. Note to self, always make sure you double check that your ribbon is straight before you tape it down. <laughs> uh, 
Oh my gosh, it's amazing, Robin. It is such a smooth roll. I love it. And it's quiet. So, so quiet. All right. And our little donkey will go here. Um, I forgot. I feel like we need a little. Let's see. We need a little sentiment, and I didn't think of that. So I'm just going to grab a piece of flirty flamingo here. And I'm going to cut a. We'll do a half an inch. There we go. Yeah, seal, I love it. It's like my favorite. Um, definitely my glue of choice. I'm going to use the sentiment that says, you're the best. <clears throat> And these are kind of small letters, so sometimes I have a hard time with that. I have found with small letter sentiments like this, it's best to just be light with your stamping and light with your inking because it's really easy. Sorry if you're getting my head in the way. It's, oop, that's not straight. It's really, really easy to rock it and get um, kind of a smudged image. So I just try to be careful about that. Okay, next I've got some whisper or basic white um, twine. This comes in a combo pack, the snail mail combo pack along with Blushing Bride. And I'm going to wrap this around over the top. And we'll be tying this in a bow. So I'm just going over the top of my organdy ribbon that I put down there, that see-through beautiful stuff. I have this way too long. And I'm going to tie this in a bow. Just like that. And then you can kind of pull the ends to the length that you want them. Trim these up. And Let's, yep. Okay, I'm gonna glue down this behind my circle. I think we will go like this. And then I'm just gonna trim off the ends of the scrap. This is a half inch wide. And now I need some dimensionals. Pop this up on dimensionals. That's a lot of them. Whoops. Got a little carried away. Sometimes that happens, right? Okay, oops, put this here. And then we're gonna pop this layer up onto our card base. And Jody, you'll notice I'm using the edge of my dimensionals. Sometimes I don't like to use the edge. <laughs> and other times I find it so satisfying. All right, can't waste though, you guys, right? Make sure I got my card open the right way. 
put our adorable card front on there. And there we have it. There's our first card of the night. We warmed up with the little simple stamping. Some pretty paper doing all the work for us. What do you think? Do you love that? Isn't that beautiful, adorable, simple? We're bringing out the white with that baker's twine. We're bringing out the pink and our donkey. We got a cute little sentiment. I love it. I love simple cards like this. Okay. If you love it, hit that love car, that love button. Show me some love. I love to see those hearts flying across the screen, you guys. That totally makes my day. All right. Now, let's get our stamps back in here and get ready for our next card. My next card is amazing. It is um, a more complex card, but not as difficult. Once you see the tutorial, I promise you, you will be able to make this card yourself at home. So um, I don't want you to worry that you won't be able to. But when you look at the card, you might think that you can't, okay? But I promise you can. All right. So we're doing a little bit of cutting with this one. And I am using my free Oh so ombre paper. Oh so ombre. It's called from celebration. This stuff is beautiful. It's very, very popular. So if you are um, if you're liking this paper, you make sure that you get your hands on it. Um, I actually got out some pieces and now I don't know where the heck they went. <laughs> I don't know where I put them. Well, anyway, you can see it. Here it is. This paper is getting a lot of love from me. I um, have two packs of it. And when I have scraps, I've been putting it here. And then I keep my whole ones here in this other pack. But you get four colors. And you see how they have that ombre coloring look to them? two-sided. Beautiful. Um, and the colors in here are Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, and then you get Granny Apple Green and Rococo Rose. So I love them. Pretty darn easy to um, make stuff with. And they coordinate really, really well together. Okay. <clears throat> This card, we've got a piece of Bermuda Bay, half sheet of cardstock. I'm going to burnish that edge. And I'm going to be stamping the inside of this one. So let's grab this donkey here. I lost my, here we go. My surface isn't like exactly flat, so I like to always put something underneath here. Oh, look at all those hearts. Thanks, guys. That's so sweet. All right, I'm gonna bring this donkey in like this from the side. I'm actually stamping the inside layer right now. And this piece of Whisper White is five and a quarter by four. And then I've got this um, strip of Bermuda Bay 
uh, ombre paper, I'm just going to glue that down on the bottom so I can bring some of the pretty front of my card into the inside. So just line that up. There we go. I've got a little bit hanging out here, so I'm just going to sniff that off, that little tiny sliver. Ooh, I love this color too, Kay. Super fun, especially for the spring catalog, a nice bright color when you're thinking of spring and summer. Okay. And I'm just going to glue that down to the inside of my card. And now I've got an adorable card insert. Don't you like that? That little donkey in the corner. I love it. Okay, now for my card front, we're going to do a little embossing. So let me make some room. I've got a couple of circles from the uh, layering circles framelits. I have the second largest, it might be the third largest one in the group. So when you get them on your sheet, they look like this. I'm using this second one up here and the second smallest down here. And what we have here is a piece of the Oso Ombre. And I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab my plate here. I'm going to get these circles lined up. I'm going to try and center that smaller circle inside of the bigger circle. Okay. Just when I think I have it right, my finger moves it. Hmm. I'm using my old magnetic platform. So for those of you who had a magnetic platform for the Big Shot, don't throw it out because you can still use it. That's just what I grabbed. Okay, that looks good. And I'm going to bring in my big boss here, the smoothest embossing machine and cutting machine I've ever used. It's amazing. And of course, in all this jostling around, my circle has moved. There we go. Okay. And I'm just going to roll it right through here. Hi, Karen, welcome. Hi, Sandy, welcome. All right. So now we've got these circles. Let me move this out of the way. Oh, let me move these out of the way. This ring we can save for something else, but we don't need it for this card. We'll use the smaller circle and the bigger circle that's cut out. Okay. Now, I lost something that I need. Where did I put it? There we go. All right, um, I think I should show you what we're making. This is what we're making, guys. We're making this spinner card. Do you see that? How he's rolling around? Okay. So, um, I've got my Bermuda Bay piece here and I need to adhere him this to my card front. 
So what I'm going to use to do this, you need to use your foam adhesive strips. Your um, dimensionals are not quite tall enough for this, so they are not going to work. So these strips come in this package and um, they're flexible. So I'm going to just go around the circle and put this foam strip down. I'm trying my best to make sure that my paper doesn't get kind of rippled here and it wants to grab it here on this corner. So let me just sniff that so that it lays nice and flat. And it wants to grab it on this corner here too. So I'll just snip those so it lays flat. I know I already let the reveal go, but I wanted you guys to see what I was doing here. Okay. And then I'm going to take up here. And again, on these extra spaces, you, you want to make sure that you're using um, this foam strip because the dimensionals are not the same height. So you have to make sure that you're using the foam strips throughout, okay? And by the way, if you don't have the Big Boss you definitely could, depending on the size of your paper, you can use a circle punch too if you have that. It might be harder to get them completely centered, but if your piece of paper fits in there, um, that will work too. I just find it easier to do the layering circles kind of together. All right, and we're going to... Adhere this to my card front, nice and solid. This thing wants to come up. There we go. All right. And I have to have ribbon of some sort on almost every card I make. So I'm going to tie some on quick before we add too much other stuff here. So I'm just wrapping around that white twine again. And up here, I'm going to tie it in a bow. So I always get my... I tend to twist my bows as I'm tying. I twist the loops. Just how I tie my shoes and then that ends up happening on my cards too. Not funny. Oh, Melanie loves ribbons on all her cards too. I know it just adds the perfect touch to me. All right, I'm going to grab, uh, we're going to do a little stamping here before we kind of focus on putting the rest together. So I'm going to grab my Bermuda Bay, and because he's going to be spinning around here, I thought hee-haw was the perfect sentiment. Helps if you actually ink up your stamp, huh? I think I need to re-ink this. Got a little halo there. All right, so I'm going to stamp this. 
Ooh, that turned out pretty darn good. I'm happy with myself. And we will glue this piece down onto our card front over the top of our twine here like this. And then what I will do is I'm just going to come in and snip this end off. I know I just committed a cardinal sin. I cut a glued piece with my scissors. All right. Now we've got some foam strips here. I'm just going to cut a piece off. And we will do the same for our inside circle. We don't want to go too close to the edge, but we don't want to be too far away either because this um, designer series paper is not as thick as cardstock. So I need it to be kind of firm enough when it's in the center. And you'll see why as you see how we put together the spinner. Yes, twine works too, Melanie. Totally agree with you on that. Okay, now, <clears throat> this card, um, I didn't want you guys to have to watch me stamp and color and everything. So I stamped our Kicking Donkey in Memento ink, and I just used blends to color him in. So um, the colors I used are light and dark smoky slate and light and dark soft suede and did a little shading on him. Um, and then I just fussy cut him. So the thing I love about these donkeys, there's not any coordinating dies, but they're pretty easy to fussy cut with your um, sharp snips. Okay, now, Here's our secret to making this work. You need either washers or pennies, and I'm gonna use pennies. And need a dimensional. And this dimensional is, uh, I think that's a hexagon. You want it to be round, so I kind of go, whoops, and I already did this wrong. Let's try this again. I'm just gonna go through and trim off these um, pointy edges just a little bit to make it more circular. So just softening up those pointy edges. I am making people cringe right now that I'm cutting these dimensionals, I think, with my paper scissors. Okay, and you put your dimensional on one penny, and then you put the other penny on top. So what you end up with is a penny dimensional sandwich. I hope you can see this. Let me bring my, can you see how that's a penny dimensional sandwich? Okay, now I'm gonna slide the sandwich in here. And then I'm going to bring in my ombre piece and slide it in the other side of the sandwich. Make sure this is centered. And stick that down. So I'm trying to make sure it's even all the way around. And this penny, there we go, should See how he's going to twirl around here in this little ditch we made for our penny sandwich. Okay, now we've got our donkey. And I'm going to put my dimensional back here on his back. I don't want that penny to show through. So I'm going to cover it up like so. 
and then it should be weighted. There we go. See how he spins around? Whoops. This one side here is a little tight. There we go. Yep, you might have to, I think I got it a little bit close on this side. So fair warning. There we go. See how he spins around? Isn't that cute? What do you think? These spinning donkeys, do you love them? This one spins good. I got it nice and centered. This one, I don't have quite centered right. He gets stuck on that bottom one. But he still works great the rest of the way around. He just needs a little prodding here. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh. Hee haw, he's having fun. We open him up and there's our donkey on the inside. And I have this strip of DSP left over. So I'm going to show you a little, I know I stamp on my envelope, but I'm going to show you another little trick here. I'm going to put this piece of designer series paper and glue it right down to my envelope flap so that it matches my card. Then I just come in here. And trim around. Like so. There we go. Oops, I didn't push them down there. There we go. And now, when they open this card up, oops. And it does fit in here, you guys. See, fits in. You might have to pop one more stamp on it, but I didn't glue it very good to the edge. So make sure you glue close enough to the edge. They have this adorable matching card. My nephews will love this card. Yes, and okay, now listen. This was a lot easier than you would think if you just saw this card, right? If you saw this, what you think, there's no way I can make this, but it's very, very easy. So what do you think? There's our second card. <clears throat> I have one more for you guys. If you'd like to see one more with the donkeys, <clears throat> this is a great, great set to add on as your um, <clears throat> celebration item when you purchase the Dragonfly Garden class from me. Um, amazing. I'm going to do a little stamp cleaning so I don't drop stuff. Yeah, uh, the first time I saw someone make that card, I was like, oh, I could do that. So, and then when I saw this kicking donkey, I really thought he or she would be the perfect um, shape for a, um, a spinner card. All right. So... Um, strips away, get a little drink. Ah, my tea is so good. Is anyone else a tea drinker? Joanne says, yes, another card. I can't stop looking at these cute darn donkeys. They're so adorable. I love it. This one spins really good. I got it perfectly centered here. Love it. Okay. <laughs> I'll put pictures and dimensions for everything too um, on my blog. I've been pretty good at getting it up the next day. So hopefully my track record continues and you guys will be able to see that right away tomorrow. All right. More donkeys, more ombre paper. 
Okay, so this time we are using the Granny Apple Green color from this Oso oh Ombre set of paper. Okay, here's what we got. We got our card base, five and a half by eight and a half. We are gonna fold that at four and a quarter. Burnish that edge. That's just a half a sheet of cardstock. We've got, now this one has kind of a strange measurement. So let me read it here. We've got a piece of basic black and this is five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. And then we've got two pieces of the um, Oso Ombre paper. This one here is three inches by three and three quarters. And this one is two inches by three and three quarters. So, oh, Robin, you purchased a dragonfly class but couldn't find the date. I will mail it out to you by January 30th. And you will get um, PDF instructions with video sent to you um, the day that I mail it to you. So you'll be able to put it together when, as soon as it arrives. Okay, now I'm gonna glue this piece, this larger piece down to my basic black layer. And then we'll do the smaller piece. So I will cut everything for you and get it in the mail. And then as soon as it gets mailed, I will email you the PDF tutorial with videos. And my, I for sure will have that out by the 30th. So the registration goes until the 19th. Um, but I only have so many, so um, you guys make sure that you're ordering soon. Don't wait. Um, I didn't do a very good job of centering this, but you get the point. <laughs> All right. So now I have got this little tiny white piece, and this one is a half an inch by, sorry, not right. This is one and a quarter inches by one and three quarter inches. And I'm gonna turn this into a little flag by just cutting up the middle here. And then I come in with my snips from the corner. Like this. So I turned it into a little flag. That's pretty easy, huh? And then we'll do some stamping. I'm making a birthday card. So I'm going to use the sentiment that says, it's your birthday. And we're gonna stamp that right here on our little flag. These are small words again, so we're being real careful not to rock it so we get a nice crisp image. Oh, pretty darn good. All right. So now what I am going to do is glue this down. I'm gonna line it up right here with the edge of my other piece of designer series paper. Okay, and now I've got this strip of black. This basic glass strip is a half an inch wide and it is three and seven eighths inches long. Put some glue on the back of that. Oops, it's longer than that. I'm gonna trim it down to size. 
and glue that straight across there. And then I'm just going to snip this edge like so. All right, and now we're going to glue this down to our card base. I always like to glue my um, card front layers first before I add anything with dimensionals, and that's what we're going to be doing next here. So I'm going to glue this right in the center, like so. All right. Now I've got my little balloon punch. Um, this is called the balloon bouquet punch. This is from the big catalog. I know it's the perfect size for my favorite stamp and seal glue runner. And did you notice how smooth that went on there? Did you hear the angel singing as I was gluing that down? I thought it sounded just divine. Okay. And I'm just going to punch, I, because it's a double punch, this extra balloon came out, but I'm going to use the big balloon, and I think the pink will be right for this. And so you don't have to watch me do all this. I have already stamped this donkey who's sitting here super cute-like and colored him with blends, and I fussy cut him. All right. Now, we've got our twine, and I'm just going to cut a piece of that off. This is from our snail combo pack. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is tie this to the donkey's tail. So I'm going to put this in a little, I start my knot before I so you see that it's kind of like a pretzel. I stamp, <laughs> stamp my knot or I start tying my knot first and then I slide his tail in there. And then I will finish the knot after his tail is in there. Just makes it way easier to do it that way. Carol says, your workspace looks so neat and tidy. I have a mess when I stamp. Oh. That's because you can only see this little portion of my workspace. Trust me, definitely not neat and tidy in here. <laughs> and Jody was here, my friend Jody. I don't know if she's still watching, but she was here stamping with me last week. And um, I wonder if we could tie this in a little bow. What do you think? Should we try it? Um, she can tell you it's not neat and tidy. You know, it might be cute to have this tied in a little bow, I think. I think it would be. Oh, and it just came out. So never mind that idea. We'll just tie it in a knot and trim the end. Okay, now here comes the intricate part. I'm going to... Kind of estimate where I need to tie my balloon on. And this looks about right. So I will get my knot started here, just like I did for the donkey. Okay. So I got my pretzel started. It looks like a pretzel to me, that's why I call it that. And then I'm going to stick the tail of that balloon in there and tighten up that knot. And you know what? <laughs> Jody says it's pretty neat. <laughs> I just don't have the storage space organized the way I would like it to be. And I would rather stamp than do that organizing. So 
I guess the organizing has to wait. I'm going to snip off this big long end because I cut this way too long. All right. So let's try this again because I had it way too long last time. We're going to put our balloon bottom in there like so, and then we are going to tie it in a knot. Just going to grab that here and press this on the top. All right, so we've got our little balloon tail here. So what we have is our balloon tied to our donkey. Be careful you don't rip it and pull it too tight. I did that already. All right, now let's get some dimensionals. Gonna put a couple on our donkey and one on our balloon. And what I will do is put my donkey down here. And then take the dimensional off the back of the balloon. And then I'll place the balloon on the card. Like so. And then just snip off the end here. There we have it. Do you love it? I don't know. We probably could use a little bling. And we probably should do the inside too, right? I have this strip of DSP. I might as well use it. Ooh, angels again. That glue runner is so darn smooth. I just love it. Okay, and trim this off. We're bringing our pretty paper from the outside to the inside. Wouldn't this make a great free stamp set? with your card kit purchase. Oh my gosh, and now you have three adorable ideas for it. Cute. Need a little bling. I know exactly what ones I wanna use here too. I um, wanna use these new black ones. So let's put one like here. We'll go here, and I think I'll put one over here too. Bring a little interest to that side of the card. There we have it. How about that adorable card? That balloon's pulling up the donkey by the tail. I forget which one of you said your nephew would like that. Is that Robin? I can't remember, um, but... I think nephews and nieces would love this card too. Thank you so much, Kay. Thanks, Jody. Thank you, Sharon. That was my stamp set. Here he is, adorable inside. Love it. And let's bring in our other cards for those that are new. Just popping on and didn't see the rest of our cards. We made this adorable little spinner card. Cute. We made one in Bermuda Bay too. Well, we actually made the Bermuda Bay. And here's our balloon card. And here's what we warmed up with. A little simple stamping. We warmed up with that card. Isn't that pretty? Some fun, bright colors. There we go. 
I hope that you enjoyed my live tonight. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would be so, so, so thrilled to earn your business. Um, you can shop my online store on my blog. I have a link to it. Uh, countrycardsbyrose.blogspot.com is the address for my blog. And across the top, you'll see a link that says um, shop my online store. If you've got an order to place that's under $150, I so appreciate if you use my January 2021 hostess code. That's right here, 9HDAFEJT. If your order is over $150, you should skip the code because you're going to get some benefits, some stampin' rewards. When you're under $150 and you place it here, that's what helps me to get the supplies to give you guys the prizes that I like to give away. Um, and that helps to support my business. So thank you so much when you do that. I really, really appreciate it. Although to be fair, if your order is over 150 bucks, you really should talk to me because I wanna get you a discount and you could definitely order a discount shopper kit with that um, and get 20% off your stuff. So I wanna be able to help you get your stuff affordably. All right, um, just also another reminder that my Dragonfly Garden class to go is um, open for pre-ordering now. We've got eight days left, but I only have so many packets cut. So make sure you get your order in right away so that I don't run out and sell out of them. All right, guys, thank you for joining. Oh, thank you, Melanie. That really makes my day. Melanie says, I so enjoyed your live. I will work on getting this posted to my blog with all the measurements and dimensions um, by tomorrow or by Wednesday. And I'll also put the replay on YouTube. So if you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe whoop, up there, hit the subscribe button up there um, so that you can have all my videos in one handy place. All right, I think I'm gonna go watch The Bachelor now. I have it recording and I can't miss it. I hope you all have a great rest of your night. Make sure you join me here next week, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time for another Make It Monday. I can't wait to stamp with you again. Have a great rest of your week. Have a great night. Bye, guys. See you later.